There were so many new developments each day, like the one we just brought you in Oakland County. It's not surprising people have a lot of questions. Dr. Frank Me George continues to answer those questions that have been coming in through clickondetroit.com. And in fact, he's got a new batch right now, Doc. Yeah, Devin, so a viewer named Marjo asks, can you donate blood if you've been vaccinated? The answer is yes, you can, and please do. The vaccine does not change the ability of your blood for, or the suitability, rather, of your blood for donation. And on the other side, donating blood is not going to change the amount of antibody that you develop from the vaccine. Now, here are some more of your questions. Marsha asks, is a fully vaccinated person's protection against a COVID-19 infection affected if they have subsequently received a blood transfusion? No, receiving blood will not affect the protection you have developed from being vaccinated. Another viewer writes, My second dose of Pfizer was on March 25, 2021, which means eight months later will be November 25, 2021. But November 25th is Thanksgiving. Will I be able to receive my COVID booster before that date? I applaud the detailed thought you've put into this. Practically, I would simply wait until after Thanksgiving. There's nothing magically specific about eight months. Waiting until at least eight months will just make it easier for whoever is administering the vaccine. Jackie asks, since the original Pfizer and Moderna vaccines were developed before the dangerous variants emerged, will the booster shots be formulated to cover the variants? Jackie, at this point, the boosters will be the same vaccine you initially received. Vaccine manufacturers are developing variant-specific vaccines, but at this time, it's believed these won't be necessary. A viewer asks, how do doctors determine if someone has COVID-19 or the Delta variant? Is there a separate test for the Delta variant? There is a separate test to determine the specific variant a person is infected with. The standard PCR test can only tell if a person is infected in general. The sample has to be genetically sequenced to determine which variant is involved. Most samples do not go through that extra step, but in the state of Michigan, 99% of the samples that have been genetically sequenced in the past month showed an infection with the Delta variant, so it's a good bet that any new infections are from Delta. Now, finally, Lisa asks, I received the J&J &J vaccine in March. All of the booster conversations seem to be on mRNA vaccines. When will we hear about potential booster shots for those that receive J&J? &J? So, Lisa, we expect that boosters will actually be needed for people who receive the J&J &J vaccine, and hopefully that data will be coming out in the very near future. So stand by. Back to you. You've got to keep the questions coming. All right, Doc.